Hey guys, it is Monday and it's April 24th. This is the 15th week of our 2017 weekly vlog series. very very rainy rainy Monday um, it poured today I think they said we're gonna get three inches or something I don't know if we actually did but it was a lot of rain and it rained mostly all day off and on yesterday um, normally I would be bummed about that right now I'm happy because of the pollen um, any rain is good and also it's been a while since we've had a good rain so I'm sure we needed it um, this morning when I got up the back light was on um, and there was basically a herd of deer. I counted about five, but because it was dark and because our deck is sort of in the way, the, our deck's on like a second floor level and our house is on a hill, so our yard's below the deck, so to speak. Uh, there could have been even more that I couldn't see. Um, and one was even laying down, just chilling. So uh, I t tried to film it. It wasn't showing up very good because it was so dark. Um, the light illuminates our deck very brightly, but they were down in the yard and the yard's not as well illuminated by the uh, motion light. So I will try to put some of that footage in while I'm talking right now, um, if any of it turned out. Hey guys, it's Tuesday, April 25th, I believe. And I never can keep up with the date. I'm lucky to keep up with the day. Um, it is day three of the monsoon, but I think it's finally over. We've had some crazy rain. Um, the sun came out this afternoon, now it's cloudy again, but I think the, the worst of it's over, so I'm um, glad to see that go. We needed the rain really badly, so I don't, you know, um, regret that we got it. I'm just ready now after three days for it to be gone. Um, otherwise, pretty uneventful day today, just regular work stuff. And um, I am going to make a burrito bowl, I think. I may have shown a finished one before, but I don't think I've ever shown how I make it. It's one of the ways that I sort of cheat using pre-cooked stuff to make an easy and quick meal. So I'll show you what I put in that. Um, I do cook one thing, um, the veggies that I put on it, but otherwise, well, and even that is pre-sliced and frozen. So it's one of those ways to put together a really quick and fast meal that's fairly healthy. So I'll share that with you tonight. So the only food prep I'm doing, um, other than, like I said, sauteing some peppers, is I did make fresh pico de gallo, and all that is is lime juice, tomato, cilantro, and onion, salt and pepper, and some people put jalapenos in theirs, I do not. I, if you've watched our vlogs long enough, you'd know spicy things in me do not get along. <laughs> and also chop some onion, and roughly chopped. They don't even have to be fine. Um, so that's pretty much it for food prep. The I'm going to saute some peppers with the onions, but they're already chopped and frozen. And then I wanted to mention this. I can't remember if I've mentioned this before. If you cook at all, or if you juice lim lemons or limes even to make drinks, whatever, um, do yourself a favor and buy one of these if you don't already have it. This is the greatest thing ever. I just found out about it recently and then I felt silly for not having one before. You put the lime or lemon in face down where the holes are and then you just squeeze and I mean you really can almost do it one handed it's so easy. So I thought I'd show you how I finished this up. I put white rice on the bottom. This is already pre-cooked so I just nuke a small amount in a bowl. These are the pinto beans you've seen us batch cook on the weekends and freeze. So they're frozen. I'm going to thaw those out and drain them. And then this is my favorite thing. I found these fairly recently. Um, it's the three types of bell pepper. Um, well, actually, red and green are the same. One's just riper than the other. But anyway, the three colors of peppers. And they're already sliced and everything and frozen. So I put those in the pan with the onion that I chopped earlier. And as you saw, the pico de gallo that I have that I'm going to put on. And then... Um, I'm going to put some fresh avocado, and then I also, I think I've talked about, I, I take those organic whole roasted chickens from Whole Foods, 
and I pull them apart and put the meat in three ounce servings and freeze those too. So I'm also going to heat up one of those and add that. I'll actually add that with these vegetables and put some spices in once the vegetables are mostly done. So that's it. Hey guys, it's Wednesday, April 26th and um, it's been a good day today even though it's a Wednesday. Um, today I did some volunteer work for um, basically putting meals together as part of like a team thing and that was a lot of fun. Um, really rewarding and um, so that was a nice change of pace. And um, I got a delivery today that isn't that funny but it's a little funny so I gotta share it with you. So I read if you're going to clean the lens on your camera you should really blow it off with one of those compressed air dust offs. So I got some of that which I ordered but here's the funny part. It came with a single Swedish fish. I don't know why, but I think that's really funny. It's funny that, you know, electronic compressed air duster came with it, and it's funny that it just came with one, and also it's totally flattened because the cans were on top of it. It's like so thin. Too funny. I've actually never had one of these. I'm gonna see if Brian wants it. If not, then we'll just toss it. I mean, it's probably been in some pretty extreme heat getting shipped here too, because it's like in the 80s today. <laughs> Friday, April 28th, and um, I ended up working today remotely, but I'm done with that now, and so we're gonna go have some fun. Um, before that, we ended up recording a review for Beach Club Resort, so if you're interested in that, I will put a link um, once this goes out up above here or here um, that you can check out. Um, we stayed there last year and really enjoyed it and we're going to be staying there again in the not too distant future so we thought we'd give that a review. Hello we have made it to Broadway at the beach and we're going to do a couple of miles. It's a mile if you walk all the way around so we're going to do it twice. Um, this would be if I was at home my normal walk uh, distance that I usually do at lunch since I didn't get to do that today, I'm gonna to do it now. And it's really windy, so we'll see how well this film turns out. But wow. here's what Broadway looks like. New stuff here, it's the, it's the Paula Deen restaurant. New Paula Deen restaurant? Wow, they've made a lot of progress. Right back up. Yeah, there's Brian's crazy ride, if you can hear us over the wind, and there's a new Ferris, new Ferris wheel. wheel. We'll get a closer look at that. Yeah. 
so we're coming up on the area hopefully you can hear me over the wind where most of the bars are located and the new hard rock which we may try tomorrow we haven't decided yet so right behind me over here is the new hard rock it used to be a pyramid down at the end of this aisle here um, it was actually really cool looking from the outside and sort of had an Egyptian theme. Um, now they've changed it to be here. I think it's just a better location because it's right on the corner where people can get to it easier. And we're thinking about trying it tomorrow for lunch. Depends on what else we do. We may change our mind, but hoping to give it a try before the really big tourist season starts for the summer. So there at the end, there's going to be a Dave and Buster's. That's where the pyramid used to be that had the hard rock. Um, so it's going to be a pretty big Dave & Buster's. That's yeah. a big building. We've decided to try the new Ferris wheel. It looks fun. Hi. Hi. All right, so here we go. Uh, it's going up. It is hot. So I'm going to film a full rotation and I'll probably speed this up a little bit for your viewing pleasure. It's like they're putting another ride right there. And I think that's a new ride over there. Ah. Actually, I may not have to speed it up. This is booking right along. You can almost see the ocean. Not quite. Those are the hotels way over there. Wow, this is awesome. This is awesome. Oh, neat. We stopped at the top. Oh, there's the um, go-kart tracks. Yeah. And that's the wax museum. So we're going to demolish this uh, palace theater because of the uh, hurricane damage. Oh, I didn't even hear about that. Yeah, they're going to demolish it. I don't know if they're going to rebuild, though. Wow. Well, you can see all the land that can develop over here. That's a lot of land, yeah. There goes one of the speed boats. See off in the distance the big uh, Ferris wheel. Yeah, it's way, way over there. Oh, here we go again. So that's nice of them to stop it. That was nice. We're, we're the, the only, only people on it. We're going backwards. Yeah, I hope they um, get more customers because I hope it stays stays up. This is a nice addition here. No, I think they'll keep this. It's very family friendly. It's definitely family friendly. I mean, this is actually one of the safer ones I've seen with this really high plexiglass or whatever that is. You don't have to worry about kids falling out or anything. Yeah. All right, so I know we talked about it on the ride, but just a quick review. This is awesome. Highly, highly recommend yeah. it. Awesome um, that was really fun. Great views. Um, really great. Can't yeah. say enough about it. And it's fast for a Ferris wheel. It really moves. Yeah. All right, so Brian is gonna ride this crazy thing behind me. Hey, Brian. He loves this ride. He's at the top. He's the only person on it. I don't know if you guys can hear him, but he's having fun. there so how was that I love it it's an awesome ride here that's one of your favorites isn't it, it? Is. what so stinks smooth. is they won't let you wear any glasses not even with a yeah. strap and so he can't see because our nephew rode it with him and said you could see all the way to the ocean which yeah. would be awesome good morning we are at Myrtle Beach still and we're actually on the beach um, Brian saw the beach yesterday while I was working. He rode his bike, yeah, was um, had a good time. He was down here yesterday, but I had not seen the beach yet. So that was first on the list 
for this morning. Um, we're not gonna spend a ton of time here. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the water temperature here is about 69 degrees. So for me, that's way too cold to swim. Yeah, it's even too uh, cold for him. You just see people wading and that's it. Yeah, yeah, no one's swimming. So we're not gonna like hang out on the beach, but I can't stand to come all the way here and not actually see the ocean. There's something so nice about the ocean. So here's the view of the beautiful ocean. There's a pier way down there. And that pier is really cool. They actually have, I don't think it'll show up good from here, but it's so hazy this morning. They have a restaurant on that pier and it also has a, like a three story tall building with a rooftop bar. Um, we've eaten in the restaurant and it's okay. It's, I don't, wouldn't say it's the best I've ever had, but it's decent it's and it's pretty like good it. price too. Yeah. It's like got some fresh seafood, but kind of sandwiches and stuff like low, low key, not right, fancy yeah. food. And we've never been to the rooftop bar, but I'd like to check that out sometime. I think that would be neat. Yeah. And we're, as you saw, Brian bike down here. So we're actually close enough that we could bike down here. There's another pier and there's the sky wheel. And then this is the boardwalk that we're on that I'm sure you've seen many times if you watch our vlogs. It's about a two mile round trip if you walk the entire boardwalk from end to end, which is nice. So we've walked down to the sky wheel. It's, that other Ferris wheel's definitely not this big. This is definitely bigger. Oh, you know, yeah. we were talking about that. Yeah. Um, this has got some fantastic views. Um, I have a vlog, it's pretty old, where I rode it with my parents and I didn't have a good camera so I had to use like a not so great camera that day. So it's not the best footage, but I will link to it right over there. Um, it's a great ride. You can see, we've done it a couple of times because Brian wasn't with me that time, but we did it with your sister. Yeah and um our nephews that was a lot of fun yeah, yeah if you come to myrtle nice. beach you've got to do it and it's enclosed and air conditioned so like uh my mother is afraid of heights and she wasn't scared at all just because you're so secure like you're in your own little container um so there's no reason to be afraid and don't they have that one that's got a, like a glass bottom i think i see it. it's at the very top yeah, the very and that one costs more i think yeah, it does. yeah a lot more well i think it's like a champagne package too oh wow fancy yeah so yesterday you may have heard brian talk on the ferris wheel about how they're demolishing the palace theater because of the damage from hurricane matthew so from this side you can really see the damage it actually looks kind of okay from the other side but not from this side there's um, more of the damage. So Brian was just telling me that apparently the city condemned it because it's set open like that too long. So that's why they're demolishing it. Oh, we never got to see a show there. No. We had to sometimes, like they had a magic show one time. Right. And a Cirque du Soleil show. Yep. And we never did we never make it over there. And I heard from people the shows were good. Those, you know, those type of shows. All right, we've made it to the Disney outlet and I say that with quotes around it because the prices aren't here not very cheap here <laughs> they've got some Disneyland merchandise on clearance it's funny to me that they ship it all the way to the East Coast to put it on sale also on clearance they've got the Star Wars shirt with different scenes that's pretty neat oh that's the classic movie yep it's really cool on the ranch Okay, I'm always saying they never have anything good on sale, but they've got this Star Wars t-shirt, which is really cool. And they look like they have a bunch of Star Wars t-shirts down here. They have some really cute mugs. Like, I really like this BB-8, but I don't quite get it. I guess you take his head off to drink out of it, and it's pretty heavy. And they've got some really cute princess mugs, too. I like these a lot. Tiana. They got some Tsum Tsums. Cute. So this is their normal deal, which is the $10 t-shirts. That's pretty standard here. So I guess that is a good deal when you think about Disney World prices. <laughs> when they're $30 to $40 for a t-shirt. Oh, yeah, entry fee. The entry fee is usually $25, right? <laughs> 25. Uh, that would be a good deal if you saw $25. They have Tsum Tsum luggage tags, flip flops, and tote bags, dishes, everything. <laughs> So we just got back to Broadway and they're having a car show here. Pretty neat. That's really nice. I'm gonna have to talk a lot because this music is copyright. So sorry for you having to listen to me talk nonstop. Oh yeah, Brian used to have an old Beetle. His wasn't that neat there. Oh, 
I like the little toy version on the back. That's cute. I love this little setup here on the side. Wow, look at that interior. So the car show was really neat, but the music was so loud, it actually hurt my eardrums, like like physically hurt. Wouldn't you agree? That was yeah, crazy. Way too loud, way too loud. Right, really crazy, but the cars looked really cool. So we're back at Broadway, as you may have guessed, and we're headed to the Hard Rock Cafe. So as I've mentioned before, but you may not have heard, they have a new one. It used to be a pyramid that was sort of Egyptian style. They moved to a slightly different location and it's brand new and we've never been inside. So I'm excited to try it. I checked out the gluten-free menu yesterday and it's huge. So that's exciting as well. Here we go and to try the Hard Rock Cafe. All right, so we just sat down. We got this nice cocktail menu, but we also got a gluten-free giant menu. This is so exciting to me. Put it in the light a little better. Also, she told us all the memorabilia here is new from their old pyramid location except for a couple of items. So we're definitely going to have to walk around and check everything out. We're sitting in Miley Cyrus's strange little jacket. <laughs> Alright, so we just settled in at the Hard Rock and got our drinks. What did you get? This is the Goose Island IPA. Nice You've had that before, too. haven't you? Yeah. You like that? And I haven't tried it yet, but I got the exotic margarita. It's got Patron and a pomegranate liquor and I believe an orange liquor memory serves. All right, so I'm trying my margarita. We don't have Very, very good. I would definitely recommend that. All right, so we got our food. This is my gluten-free burger, gluten-free fries. I'm so excited about that. This is one of those things that's hard to get, you know, for a gluten-free person. And Brian got the margarita flat bread, is that right? Yep. Looks good. He said the, the menu was fairly limited for a pescatarian, just, just FYI. All right, so this is one of the best gluten-free burgers I think I've ever had in my life. It is so good, it's cooked perfect. The bun is so soft and not dry. It's easy to eat. We will definitely be coming back here again. And the fries are really good. Brian agrees. He had some of the fries. It came with this zesty sauce. I'm not sure if that's for the burger or the fries, but it's got some heat to it. So how's your flat really bread? Good. It's really good. It's got a lot of garlic in it. Sorry for the blurry, guys. It's the lighting in here. But yeah, it's really good. All right, so this jacket is Justin Timberlake's, or was, I should say. This was funny, when they brought us in, they said the ladies' room is next to Lady Gaga, and sure enough, here we are. Here's a cool compilation of posters and some records. Nice. And here's one of my parents' absolute favorites. They actually went to see him in concert. They like him so much, and they're not big on concerts. That's interesting. It's a Braille edition of Reader's Digest. Yeah, that is interesting. If you didn't hear her, Brian, it's a Braille edition of the Reader's Digest that he owned. Johnny Cash. Very cool. All right, so we're out here by the big sign that spins. Really cool. I wonder if that came from the park. Oh, from the theme park? I don't. They had. It Did they? Like this. Really? It could have, you never know. So for those of you who don't know what he's talking about, they used to have an actual Hard Rock theme park here with roller coasters and stuff. It didn't last very long because it wasn't very good. We went and it sadly, it was it was a dud. But um, anyway, here's a different up in the sky view of that new Dave's and Buster's. And this is the um, sort of bar district of Broadway at the beach. And then this is looking out the other direction. So there's that crazy ride right over there that Brian rode last night. Some restaurants and bars over this way. Some more bars and restaurants this way. And then you can just see the tip of that Ferris wheel that we rode last night. So here's a good upstairs view. So we were down there to the left of the bar in the booth. The worst part about it was the lighting was bad. So the film, I don't think it's gonna be great. It kept blurring, but um, this is pretty neat. And it would be really fun if they had live music. That's neat. All right, so they've got Guns N' Roses drum set, and this was the piece that she told us was from the old Hard Rock. And the moped. And the moped. I think it was from The Who? The Who? Wow. All right, so the scooter's from The Who, and that's the other item that she said came over from the old Hard Rock. 
We got Willie Nelson's guitar. So they have this really cool light fixture with all these drums and it actually goes all the way down to the first floor. It's pretty neat. So we're here up on the stage that we showed you from above. Pretty neat. I like how you can just I like how you can just walk up here when there's no band play. It's pretty cool. Got some pants worn by Christina Aguilera. So here we go. Here's some of the local music. They've got a battle of the bands coming up on May 18th. So we've already eaten, but we stepped into Wahlburgers to check out their gluten-free menu, and they've got this picture in here. It's pretty funny. Okay. So they do have gluten-free options here, and they have gluten-free buns for their hamburgers, so that's pretty yeah. cool. So here's what the actual restaurant and bar looks like. Pretty neat. We'll probably check this out sometime, too, since they've got... They actually have better selections for Brian here. They had a fried fish sandwich. I have to say, it's an absolutely gorgeous day. It's hot, but there's a really good breeze now. The breeze was missing this morning, but it's nice. picked up now. Feels so good. Stifling. It really was. The humidity was way on up there. It's gorgeous. Yes, it is. So we're now heading back to our place to celebrate one of our favorite days of the year, Tabletop, Tabletop day. day. Yay, Brian's already got Clink set up. And if you remember from our previous videos, I always beat him on this game. And so he said we're going to do the hard mode this time to see if I can still hang in there. So stay tuned to find out. So um, one of Brian's favorite beers at Disney World, which we can also find at home, mm -hmm. is Victory Brewing Company's Golden, Golden Monkey. Monkey. And um, we AKA were... the Monkey Paul. <laughs> We were listening to Doug and Dennis, the WDW Main Street podcast, and uh, Dennis actually found another victory beer. Ta-da! And here at Myrtle Beach, we were able to find it, which is pretty cool. They seem to have a better selection at Myrtle Beach than at home. I don't know why. Um, uh, probably because it's the beach, you know. And people are buying beer because yeah, they're on vacation. People, yeah. yeah. Well, all the golfers, of course. So this is 12.5%. Is that, is that right? Is? I don't know. I think it is. We're going to try it's it. It's going to be on here somewhere. Yep, 12.5. No, 12 even. Sorry, 12 even. So Brian's going to give this a try. So Pete, are you enjoying your drink there? <laughs> he's not saying much. <laughs> Brian hasn't even started having this 12% beer and he's already talking to a picture. Mm. No? Yeah. Aww. Oh, way better. Oh, that's a bummer. It's, it's really bitter. Really? And it's got a weird aftertaste, I guess the 12%. Well, that's what Dennis said. Somebody asked Dennis on the podcast what it tasted like, and he said the alcohol kind of overwhelmed any flavor. Yeah. No. Nope. Aw. All right, Brian got us all set up to play Clink, except this time we're playing with the hard side of the board. So it's the same game. You just flip the board over, and it's harder. And we're still doing the sunken uh, treasures board. And that's expansion, yep. right? Yep. All right, so we're still playing this hard version of Clank, the harder board, and I have to say, it's definitely harder. It's more strategic. Yes. It's, you really gotta think out your moves because there's tons of stuff going on the board. Um, definitely do the easy side. It's really family friendly. It's fun, and the, the easy side. Um, but this one is like really difficult. Well, and I would definitely recommend doing the easy one first because this one could yeah. be overwhelming if this was the first time we ever played this. But it's fun, it's challenging. So Brian was wondering if this game was going to make him more successful since it's harder. <laughs> He's the little green guy that's knocked out right next to the last space. The little guy has like almost, almost made out. it. And then here's the death track right here. Death track. Yeah. <laughs> Got me. Poor guy. So I'm like half dead, but I only have a few more steps to go, so I should be okay. All right, so I finally made it to the end. And what happened, Brian? She won. Again. <laughs> He teaches me how to play and I win. <laughs> That's a, so a vlog that, that we've seen. It's called That's Pretty Fun. It's a fun game. I really enjoy yeah. it. Did you have fun? I did. Yeah. Uh, All right. Good. Clean up and go to the next game. Yay! Tabletop Day! The next game on our list for Tabletop Day is Brew Crafters. Brian just said we haven't played this since Epcot. <laughs> yeah, it's an awesome just as it travel says, game. It's a travel card game. It's yeah, awesome. it's it's all cards, so there's not a lot to it as far as pieces and parts. Yeah. And it's also pretty easy to pick up. You basically just want to accumulate cards that let you meet these requirements. So you know you can see the hops. 
probably wheat and you know collection. different bits so that you can make different types of ale. It's kind of funny. I'm gonna focus in. It's two, focused. two to four players, 30 minutes, beer not included. <laughs> All right, so we're moving right along here, and Brian said this was a sort of easy game. It is easy, but it requires concentration, it's strategic. So I've brewed one special reserve beer, which is seven points, because I have a bonus one point card down here. So these guys are in my brewery. I've got the Oak Barrel House, Night Shift, and these other guys, and they give you special abilities. And so Brian also, he's brewed two different beers and he's up to seven points, so we're tied right now. So we finished playing and Brian actually triggered the end of the game first. He brewed the most beer, but I got bonuses from the employees and equipment in my brewery. And so I actually ended up winning. I had 20 from brewing beer, but I got six bonus points and he actually had 25. So that was a close game. He looks so sad. <laughs> Sorry. I lost on tabletop day, but I had a great time. Yes, it, it was, was awesome. so much fun. I definitely recommend this game. And it's more strategic than I remembered. You really have to think. Thanks for joining us this week. We've had an awesome week. I mean, it's this has been, been a great week. a great couple days here yeah. at Myrtle Beach. Yeah. yeah, definitely a lot of fun. And um, we enjoyed tabletop day today, um, even though I won both games. Sorry, Brian. <laughs> It would have been better if one of us won one and one won the other. Oh well. Oh well. And um, we had a great time at Broadway Hard Rock. Can't recommend it enough. It's yeah. so much better than the old one. It'd probably been 15 years or more when we went to the old one that was in the pyramid. So we went to give this one a try, but I don't think we had high expectations. And <laughs> because of our past. Yeah, experience. from past experience. Well, the old one was so loud, so loud. The and music. Dark, because there's no dark, in the pyramid. And the food was mediocre. Like Brian compared it to Chili's. It was just sort of like a regular, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. not bad food just for the price. <laughs> Actually, Not Broadway has stepped it up with the restaurants. They really have. The Wahlburgers looks interesting, too. Yeah, we're definitely going to try that yeah. out, too. And um, we had a great time riding the new Ferris wheel. Yep. That was a lot of, of course, fun. Of course, my high ride, the Speed XXL. Yeah, he loves that. So it was a great, great time this week. So thanks for following along. If you've enjoyed, we appreciate likes, subscribe, shares, and subscriptions, of course. Bye. I see Pete's drink right there. Hey Pete the Cat. <laughs> we love Pete the Cat. He's we do love Pete the Cat. I've got one of his friends there. Anyway, <laughs> bye guys.